Try another one. Hello everyone, I'm Vivian. And I'm Tim. And it's our pleasure today to give this presentation. Now, I don't know about you, but right away from the beginning, I feel more interested, right? I'm Vivian, I'm Tim, hi. I just feel like right away we already have more interest. And look at the way they dress. I mean, again, it's not super formal, but it's colorful and interesting and semi-formal. So I do like that. And I think they already have my attention. And I'm so excited. Because now we are going to launch our secret new product. Tim, so what do we provide this time? What is our secret new product? So our new product is Shingri's vaccine. This is a vaccine that prevents shingles. Shingle, honestly, that is just herpes. <laughs> wow, this is really interesting, right? So, again, these presentations are about businesses and their products and services, things like this. And these things are not easy because sometimes products and services can be very boring. A company's financial information can be very boring. But I love these two because they sound interested, which makes me interested. And look at the smiles that we have on there. I just love the smiles. Whoops, we just missed the smile Herbie's there a little Luster. bit. And according to step to be Let me so check back here a little I'm bit. I'm a little bit curious about how do you come up with this idea first? What is the background story? Okay. Oh, yeah, you see? So it's really good the way they present it and interact. Let me back up here a little bit. Here we go. Product. So our new product is Shingri's vaccine. Our new product, and it's a vaccine. And... I have to be honest, it's a pretty boring topic, but he makes it interesting by the facial expression. You see, look at the look at the smile, look at the smile here. Look how positive they are. Good contact with the audience, not looking down at a piece of paper or trying to, you know, just memorize the lines. Really good job here. This is a vaccine that prevents shingles. Shingle, honestly, that is just Herpes. <laughs> so what's special about this Shingri's vaccine is it's more convenient access and more effective because now it's already served in 98,000 pharmacists and it's nationwide. And what about more effective? We'll give you more details in the following. You can see, I think this is really what we talk about in our class, which is get that main point there. So they're trying to say convenient and effective. They keep saying it. It's on the slide section. What's more important is Shingri's vaccine is already licensed by FDA, aka Food and Drug Administration, and it was recommended by CDC, aka Centers of Disease Control. So what I'm going to tell you is it's really safe and there's no need to worry about. Okay. So after knowing all this stuff, so I'm a little bit curious about how do you come up with this idea first? What is the background story? Okay, so because there's a problem need to be solved. Shingles is a painful rush. As so now they're going to go into the content of the presentation, which is usually the hard part, the boring part. But look at that slide. They're trying to make it very easy. They have a product. Now they're going to explain why they need this product. What is the situation for this product? It's a medical situation. Very boring. Very hard to explain, but they make it interesting and simple to follow. We all know it's also called uh, herpes zoster. And according to statistics, 90% of people who aged above 50 are at risk to get this kind of a disease. And people who, anyone who has recovered from chicken pox may develop shingles as well. So although we know that the risk to get shingles increase as we age, but children are also at risk. So to solve this problem with our new invention, Shingrix vaccine, it'll uh, help people to prevent this kind of disease. And as CDC predicted, it's predicted to be 19 years uh, effective, and which is quite a long time, and about affecting effective rate it's, about it's above 90%. Now again here, things are slowing down. This is the content. Presentations always slow down the content because of all the detail. I think they're doing a pretty good job. I think that her partner there could be a little bit more interested and a little bit better body language. But besides that, Which they're trying their best. means that if you uh, inject our vaccine, it'll lower, much lower your, your risk to get jingle. 
and the protection rate is above 85% in the first four years after you inject. So, Tim, after I, after my first... And right there is a great example of getting stuck. Maybe the slide gets stuck. Maybe they get a little bit confused. Just take a breath and take your time. You don't need to panic. It's much better to be relaxed. The audience understands. Just move on. The introduction of our product. Who will really need our product? Well, that's a good question. Our target audience is aimed for um, people who age over 50 or people who have shingles before because the people who have shingles before is highly possible to get a shingles again. But what's more important is even a healthy adult is at risk to get a shingles again, to get shingles. So prevention is better than a cure, right? So why not give it a shot? So buy our product because we we'll care about you and we believe that healthy. And did you see the signal for the upcoming end? They say so, right? They kind of give you a nice signal. You can feel the presentation coming to the end. And the slide helps them make that clear also. They're getting towards the end. It is the best policy. We're from CVS Health Corporation. And this is the end of our new product announcement. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, let's look at this group. I think that was a, quite an interesting job on a topic that is not easy because medical can be very boring. Okay, so their time looked good. Their English was quite clear, right, and not easy. They did have a very good system, and what I liked about their system, it was pretty simple. They said they have a product. Why is this product needed? Where does that need come from? And then they said later, who can use this, and what does it do? What's its effectiveness? Pretty good. So the delivery was good. They did have some times where they said things are more important and less important. So I like that. They could have done a little bit better on that. The sentence length and the linkers did very good. They used words like so and then. They asked questions to each other, which was very interesting. What do you think about this? And how is that possible? And why did we do that? I like I liked that a lot. Their manner was very interesting and fun. They made good contact with the audience. They had a lot of confidence. They looked happy. And their body language was really good. Now, they could have done more, but don't forget, here in the studio where they come to film, our space is a little bit limited. So it's not a whole stage. You just have a small space. So in a small space, they did pretty good. Uh, they did express a kind of friendliness. And their visual aids were very simple. I like that. Simple, right? Simple. Remember our kiss idea, right? Keep it simple, right? Okay, so I would say that was a pretty good job on a topic that was not easy. Let's look at another one.